The pandemic continues to put a damper on the summer festival season. For the second year in a row, the Park Avenue Summer Art Festival is canceled, and that follows a similar announcement from the Cornhill Arts Festival last week. Kayla Green is following the story for us tonight. And Kayla, some people are really questioning why the Park Avenue Festival is canceling, given where we are on the vaccine and a lot of other factors. Yes, Maureen, that's absolutely right. And today's city officials say there's a few different factors as to why it was canceled. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the lack of state guidance. They say that they want to see the state put out guidelines, universal guidelines that all festivals can follow. Park Avenue won't be filled with arts vendors and food trucks the first weekend in August. As organizers announced today, the Park Avenue Arts Festival is canceled for the second year in a row, leaving usual festival goers disappointed. I usually go every year, and now that I'm hearing that it's canceled, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, it is a major disappointment. Justin Roy is the communications director for the city. He says current capacity restrictions have kept things in limbo, and decisions had to be made quickly if they wanted to secure vendors in time. Ultimately, Ultimately, it's a no-go. And right now, many of the festivals are held to about a 200-person standard, or now maybe depending on how these things go, and they're open to interpretation, the 33% you know, standard of capacity. Well, what's the challenge with that? If you have a capacity standard, now you have to fence and control that site, and that's added expense, that's added security. The Lilac Festival and the State Fair are both happening, leaving some people confused by the Park Avenues. Roy says Lilac was given specific direction by Empire State Development, something he says all festivals need. Another other events still able to go on, Rochester Carnival Eats in Spencerport, happening this weekend. Organizer Alan LaVenture says they fall under food vendor guidelines, even though it's similar to a festival. We're not encouraging people to linger. We don't have tables. We, you know, we kind of move people along. But it's no different than going to your local restaurant, picking up food and leaving. There are just a few festivals that haven't announced their plans for this summer yet. The Puerto Rican Festival and Canal Days in Fairport being two of them. Canal Days actually released a statement just a couple of hours ago saying the festival is planned for June 5th and 6th, but that is subject, subject to change as they still figure out what they are able to do under the guidelines, and they say an updated status on the festival will be released once they figure all of that out. Live in Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, a great update. Thank you. This year's summer calendar still does include those two major festivals, the Lilac Festival. That's going to take place over three weekends in May, and the Jazz Fest has been moved from downtown to RIT. However, the Park Avenue and Cornhill Arts Festivals do say they plan to return next year.